Hi guys, welcome back. This is a, a continuation. We're gonna put a, a second tray here, right there. Between the um, custard apple, white sapote, apricot, and what do you call it? The um, white chatoot mulberry. So right in the middle there. We're gonna go and find the tree. I think I know which one. And this is what happened with the, the mango that I planted. I just used the, the grass that I pulled out. I turned it upside down and that, that's the burn. See how I got my burn? I reused what was there in the ground. Smart or what? I watered it in and uh, all looking good. Uh, it's not finished yet. I've got to put some mulch there too. I've got to cut all these up. That's from the... Uh, um, cherry moya and the pomelo tree cuttings over the last few days they're gonna go in there stay tuned for more I have a few more choices which I forgot about before I can plant these uh, new guys that arrived the uh, dwarf loquat the uh, Nagasaki Wazi or the Acerola is that an Acerola? yeah but you know that I'm not gonna do the Acerola because I learnt my lesson hang on yeah that's the um, Acerola alright definitely not ready for big time show time show time is in the ground The video is going to be a little clumsy, sorry about that, as uh, I'm currently charging the battery. It, um, it died on me from the previous um, videos. So I'm filming whilst I'm charging. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so we're back here again. Uh, mulberry is the only one we can put. And that's not, not a bad choice because it's going to be right next to the white chatoot, right? I wanted to keep it tropical though, guys. All I have in the greenhouse are the papayas, which are a big no-no. And the uh, Panama berries, which are even more of a no-no. Isn't it disappointing <laughs> that you can't plant trees because of the weather? Yeah, all right, let's move on. The other option is uh, these tamarillos. I've got like seven of them, but I think I have enough now, don't you think? I've got three in the ground and uh, one in a pot, large pot. So I think I'll skip this idea. I also have these two avocado seedlings. Don't know why this one went yellow. And this one is stunningly magnificent they grew in the same location same pots same everything so see see what i mean guys try to figure out the science with plants both of them came out of the compost bin right seedlings night and day in health you'll have to excuse the noise we have crows we have dogs next door barking and we have a lot of heavy traffic out on the highway. It's uh, mid-afternoon now, so everyone's uh, busy. So here we have a couple of acclimated choices. One is the Relinia. This one has already spent one winter here in um, the greenhouse and it's pushing out new growth all over. So I could plant this one definitely has done its apprenticeship the other choice is this longan <clears throat> this also spent all winter in the greenhouse the chompu i got these last summer these two the rilinia and the uh, longan so these two can go in the ground and they're both um well the rilinia is very sensitive that'll be a problem but the longan should make it. Longan should be fine. 
Um, the other choice is this star fruit. Right, that's the um, Kembe Gang. That's also spent winter here. Uh, and the two mangoes, the grafted ones, but I'm not putting those in the ground, no way. No way, they're not going in the ground. Um, what else have we got? The R2E2, which I pulled out a month ago, that's not going back in the ground. And lastly, guys, I have a sapodilla. Is that a sapodilla? Let me just check. Yeah, that's the tropical. But I don't want to risk losing another sapodilla, especially a grafted one, which is impossible to find. So I'm not going to take that chance. Look how healthy it is. Look at that. So the last choices are these two green sapodi. Hmm. I only got these a month ago. The beginning of September or end of August, I can't remember. So that's a choice. I could risk one in the ground and keep the other one in the pot. So <clears throat> yeah. What do you guys think about that? Too bad you can't respond. I should I should do a live stream someday. Oh, I forgot to mention I've got um, a dwarf Karakara <laughs> spider on my back. Um, dwarf Karakara orange. That's another choice. That's grafted. An excellent choice. And because it's a tight spot, it won't grow big. Wow, so many choices. Look how healthy it is. It's pushing out all this new growth. You know what? I'm inclined to go with this one rather than the longan, the green sapoti, the loquat, mulberry. What do you guys think? Okay, you can't answer. Okay, what do you guys think I went with? What choice? Ta da! Yeah, it was down to this one. The orange tree or the uh, mulberry by, by the way all three are dwarfs dwarf mulberry dwarf loquat and dwarf orange huh all, and I've got a dwarf macadamia too hmm four dwarfs so many choices what would you guys have gone with and all four are evergreen well the mulberry not so much the mulberry has about um, one month of um, leaf drop so it's almost evergreen so guys let's plant this uh, orange tree now oh time for a break guys I've been out here for over two hours you don't see it though <laughs> you only see a 20 minute video and even that looks too long right so again we'll use the same principle as we did for the mango and we will use for the um, orange tree the orange tree is a lot easier to grow in a temperate climate actually it's, e it's easier to grow here than it is in the tropics believe it or not they have um, the problems I have with mangoes here they have with uh, citrus in the tropics it's in reverse you can look that up and find out what I'm talking about. So now let's dig, dig, dig. Okay, we're at uh, shovel depth, which means it's deep enough. Because remember, we don't plop the tree into the hole con in the conventional way. Otherwise, I would have to go deeper. So this one only had uh, one, two, Oh, three four yeah this one had five rocks this hole so because there's also some clay here actually this hole has got more clay than the um, the mango hole see the color 
So there's worms in there. It's amazing how the worms are still there. Even in this, um, de at this depth. So now, two big cups of gypsum and mix in, right? With two hands, of course. And because it's full of flowers, we want to give it some, something to feed on because I don't know what's in the native soil. So I'm gonna give it some uh, compost. Not much, don't go, don't go crazy. Just two scoops, right? That'll do. And mix it in. Backfill with um, four or five shovels back in the hole. And then test where you are with um, height. That looks high enough. Maybe three inches above grade. Right? Yeah. Yep. There you go, guys. And uh, with the orange, you can go even a little lower. But you don't need to go as high as I did with the mango. That's it. Now we take it out of the pot. Okay, you win some, you lose some. This time, I wasn't as lucky or fortunate pulling it out of there. It was stuck. Still stuck. Because I watered it. You don't water them the day before you pull them out of the pot. Ugh. Remember to let them dry out in there before you do a transplant. I forgot guys because I wasn't sure which trees I was going to use. I didn't plant it to a T. So there has been root disturbance now. See? And that's all the soil that came out of the pot. Oh well. You just got to keep moving on. March on. Not the best outcome but good. Good but not best. Hey guys, battery died, so we have a 2K video instead of 4, but that's alright. This is uh, the finished job on the um, Mandarin. Just trying to get the focus to work, yep. So. I've used the same technique, it's around 3 inches above grade, the mango is around 5, maybe 6, see that, and that's how we roll, with planting, hope you guys enjoyed this video, got something out of it, I sure did, I used um, a slightly different method than usual. That is uh, the burn. Um, I created the burn using the grass um, um, cutouts, carv carved out grass. So that was pretty smart and genius of me, wasn't it? So that's not going anywhere. Unlike soil, which would run off or break up, this won't break because it's held together by the um, by the by the lawn. It's not going anywhere. All right. So, oh, by the way, um, there's a lot of great buys on Daily's site today. Today being Tuesday, here in Australia. Uh, the white Chatut Mulberry and the red Chatut Mulberry are both available. As are um, a few other good ones. Because you keep asking me for cuttings. Guys, please stop asking for cuttings, okay? I didn't buy these trees. So that I could give cuttings to you, okay? 
I purchased this tree. I purchased everything here. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't got a, I haven't got a single tree here growing from a cutting. Everything has been purchased. All 200 trees, including these figs. So don't be a, um, a tight ass. Go on to dailies and um, get those mulberries that you keep asking me for. Okay? Support a local business. If you're in Australia, you have enough money to afford this. You're not living somewhere in a third world country. I had to get that out because every day, every single day, I get emailed an email for a cutting. Please. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, see you from the next video. Oh, by the way, uh, in about a day or two, I'm going to put the mulch on there too. I didn't do it today. Just going to wait a day or two. All right. Bye-bye now.